Well, hello, friends. Welcome to Maria's Masoni, where in this video, I am so excited to be participating in the Smash, that small paper pad collaboration that is hosted by Deb House Crafty Cottage. And basically, all we have to do is work through our stash of small paper pads. And by small, it just means anything smaller than the 12 by 12. So what I have been doing is... Um, if you've been watching <laughs> uh last couple months is i was trying to uh go through a stack of different pads that i had received as a gift and uh they were the the five by seven pads um uh, that let me see no sorry four by six four by six pads that are pretty much ready-made um journaling cards but i wanted to really use them up for something so and some of these are so beautiful all you really need to do is stick them in a pocket as a journaling card but i thought um you know i need to do something more with them anyway so this is what i came up with <laughs> okay so last time i shared with you these little booklets and i love these these will be great to put in pockets and journals or included in happy mail and of course they can be decorated and personalized more the ones that are more plain so you've already seen those, but I just want to remind you that that's uh, some of the stuff I did with these papers. And then I have made some ring bound little books. Oh my goodness. So uh, if you watch me again, you will know that I just, just this past couple weeks, thrifted this lovely uh, punch that I guess was uh, designed to be for some sort of planner. But I figured out that if I could punch, uh, you know, a paper you know one time and then offset it a little bit and I have marked with a piece of washi tape where I need to um because it's got a guide for where you punch but then uh, with the washi tape I you know marked where I need where else I need to punch um in order to make it have uh, you know enough uh, holes so that I can put a little spiral coil through it and once the holes are all lined up it's super easy to just you know um, twist the coil onto it and of course this is a repurposed coil from an old planner that my son um, didn't really use that was given to him in high school so anyway I'm gonna do a super quick flip through of these um, super simple okay uh, let me start with this one's actually the first one I made and uh, all I did was round all the corners punch the holes and then now this front one is one of the backings of the like I have a few left you know the backings of the, the pad with a paper in front and a paper in back to make it sturdy so that's the cover and I just decorated a little bit it says let your beautiful soul shine and what I did is I selected all of the portrait oriented um, cards and um, I put one of each in here I don't think I had any copies and there may be a couple that are blank for notes but I'm just gonna flip through I might not even flip through every single page but just really quick all of these very inspirational um, little quotes and sayings and uh, I thought it'd just be a nice little motivation book. And then on this side, there's room to journal or even add pictures or notes or whatever. You know, look at this. You can journal here. And then I'm sorry about this shade. I don't know where that's coming from. Oh, it's my, my camera. Ah, all right. Sorry. Let me see if I can fix my light. No, it's still not that great. Okay, sorry. Uh, I don't know why that's the best that I can do today. Okay, it's actually raining in Arizona. It's been feeling like it's Florida here. It's crazy. It's been raining for like like the last three days, almost a week if you count just the drizzles too. All right. So anyway, you get the idea. Beautiful papers. I mean, you really don't need to do anything to these because they're so pretty. So and then here's the back, which again is a piece of paper, um, a piece of backing, and then another piece of paper. And then I, you know, punched them, glued them together, and and then I just decorated the front. And I love this. Look how cute it is. I think it's beautiful. And I really wasn't. I mean, I'm not gonna say it wasn't work. It was a lot of work just punching because I really to punch these. I could really. Oh my goodness, why can't I talk? I had to punch these one at a time, so it took a long time to do. I believe there's 20 or 25 um, sheets on here, so yeah, it's a nice little book. Um, so there's that one. 
Uh, next, I did this one, which now, as I was punching the pages, I did mess some of them up. So then I had to chop them off, you know, <laughs> smaller. And I decided that I would use some of those to make this little tiny one because I also had this little piece of coil left after using that. And, you know, I want to try to use as much of all my little bits and pieces. So these are just little pieces um, of card. It's a, I believe I'm talking about the measurements, two and a half by four. So the length is the full length of the pad. And then I cut them down to two and a half. So I really love, love, love these. And I believe this pad was a little bit just like a sliver taller than the other ones. So it didn't really kind of mesh very well. So it was nice to be able to use these little bits. So isn't that cute? Okay, so it's a little wonky on the top. I don't know. Oh, you know why? Because it wasn't wide enough to, to have a complete hold on, at the end. So it is a little bit kind of weird. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I might just take that, cut it down more. But I don't know if that will affect it even worse. So you know what? Let me do this with you. I'll go for it. I mean, it's just, I can always put another coil if this one gets messed up because, you know, we do that. We repurpose and we experiment. All right, so I'm just going to do it this way. I cut it shorter, bend it in. There we go. All right, let's see if that's better. Yeah, you know what? That's actually better. Still has that little thing there. So I don't know. Okay, I think it's better though. It's not that doesn't have that thing hanging out there. All right, anyway, there's a little one. And then I just decorated it with these dimensional like chipboard stickers that I have. So that's two. Then the next one I made was this one. And in this one, I just punched with, through the um, cards once. So this is how the whole, uh, how the punch punches. <laughs> when you just punch it one time and um for this size paper it made five holes and it just so happens that i had purchased i don't know one one time i just hit i don't know you know purchase and everything in my wish kind of uh cart that i was just looking at got bought and you know what i i didn't want to send it back because it was cool stuff anyway but <laughs> this is something i wanted to try these are these little ring book rings but they're plastic so i got um Let's see five nine of them i think these five were all clear so i thought that's perfect and then the others i got two green and two pink i don't know why but that, that's how they came so um i thought i'd try this i like the clear ones with this paper and then i just added a little bow because i just love this ribbon that i recently thrifted and i thought it went really pretty with this now for this i didn't do a hard cover i mean i could still do that but i thought you know what i couldn't decide which paper to make the cover so <laughs> I figured this way you could just flip it through and you know change whichever you want to be on top um, so these were the ones that were portrait orientation and all these little motivational see here's one of the ones that I messed up uh, I, I cut the holes wrong so I just you know sliced that off and I thought you know what in our junk journals and stuff the papers don't all have to be the same size so I went ahead and just chopped off the the part that I had messed up, repunched the holes, and then it's just a shorter sheet. So there's, I think, about three of those shorter ones in here. Um, yeah, not a big deal. Um, I think it's still a cute thing. Let me see if I find the other one. I know there's another short one. Anyway, uh, maybe we'll do it this way. Here we go. There's another one. And I think there was one more. There's, there's the other one. See, so it still looks kind of cute, even though it's shorter there like that. And uh, there we go. So that is the third one. And then the last one I made, I just said, you know what? Let me just use up the rest of these. Look at this. I didn't even count the pages. I just said, use the rest of them up, including some of the ones, like I said, that I mispunched. And then I chopped off. So there's some smaller pages in here. But this, I used my Happy Planner happy planner punch that i also thrifted a while back i've been wanting to use this thing and i haven't really done a lot with it but look at this i had these um rings and it came out really perfect and again it doesn't have a definite cover you could technically flip through and decide you know whichever you want it 
whichever page you want to be the cover. And of course, I'm hitting pages that don't make good covers, but and here's one of the short pages. But, you know, you can just... And like I said, I'm not going to flip through every single one. Oh, I like this one, though. See, I have this size and then this size and then this size. So that kind of looks cool. And then the neat thing about these, too, is that you can always... Oh, I don't want this one here. I want it over here. You can just do that because that's that's what the whole Happy Planner system is all about, you know. So I'm, like, so excited that, you know, it's so simple. I mean, I'm not going to say it wasn't work again. It was a lot of work punching all this. But it's very simple, you know. It's not a difficult thing. It's just work. I mean, you know. And it was fun. It was fun, too, seeing it come together. So that is this one, the Happy Planner st style ring bound uh, little book here. And then with the ones that were left, I said, shoot, you know what, the rest of them, I want to have some of them that I can just use as journaling cards for journals that I'm making. So, um, yeah, and yes, I am working on some journals. <laughs> I need to get some completed. But so these are the ones that were left over. I wanted to have some of the portrait oriented ones to just tuck into journals and use like traditional journaling cards or tags or whatever you know so uh, um so in order to do something to them i did round off the corners because these come like this with this little so they, they come rounded but with that little rounding rounded corner i used uh my only corner punch that i have right now is this one it, it's a bigger one so i went ahead and punched all of these and that to me tells me they're designated as <laughs> journaling cards. And of course, if you know me, you know that I have to use the packaging also. Yes, this is some of the backing that I haven't used yet. This is the back of the pad. But you know the covers are so pretty because they show you all of the papers inside. So I just cut the side. And the way these were designed is they showed you the all the papers on one side and then on this side it had all the information so i went ahead and sliced it and this is now a little journaling card and it's nice and white on the back so i did add a couple of stickers to each one just to add something to them but look how cute that little journaling card is right there and then this one these stickers are from the dollar tree i just added that and then this was one of those that i messed up and i ended up to having to cut it so this one is just going to be a journaling card and that's a sticker another sticker i got from wish i should have done a haul on it i didn't that was just like ugh but um they're cute actually and then here's another paper that i messed up so i just cut it around um corner punched it and put a little sticker on it here's another cover and then i just added that butterfly sticker on it here's another cover now this one had like from the from the price tag it kind of had you know, a rough part here. So I put that B on that side there. And then here is this side of the packaging. So it's this size, right? This side has the papers inside and then this side has the title or whatever, the information. But what I did is I covered that with my little strips that were left over from cutting down some of the papers over there. So I collaged that just very simply in stripes. I had a little sticker here. <clears throat> excuse me this one for some reason i thought it would be better this in this orientation and you know it's just plain the back and then i added a little sticker there and then here i added some of those these little butterflies that i punched out with a punch that my lovely friend sherry gave me this one again had some uh, roughness and stickiness here so i put this other kind of leftover piece and the little butterfly and then th this was the cover part you know and then this again just three leftover strips and a sticker and another one this one was kind of like more collaged like because this one's going this way that one's going that way you know several pieces and i thought that little typewriter sticker was really cute so these are all journey cards ready to go in pockets for my next journal journals that i'm working on so i am super excited that i have some of that so look at this all that's left from and um these pads is just the backs literally and these little strips see this how i messed some up these four pieces now i did throw out some that were just holes and stuff but 
that's, for some reason I'm keeping this still because I might be able to use them. It's just so pretty with the numbers and stuff. So that's all that's left. So I consider this stack of pads smashed. What do you think? I am really excited. Thank you so much, Deb, for this amazing collaboration. It is great to motivate you to, you know, use up your your stash of small paper pads and I am really happy with all this that I created from this stack of pads so thank you so much Deb for the collaboration thank you for watching and if you enjoy this and you're not already subscribed please go ahead and click that little subscribe button and you know that little bell and all that good stuff all right thank you again and have a blessed day Bye. Oh, and I'm sorry. I almost forgot. Definitely click on the links that will be in the description box below so that you can check out all of the other collaborators videos because everyone comes up with awesome ideas every single month. Okay. All right. Ah, almost forgot to say that. That is so important. Okay. Once again, blessings and bye.